Hey, it's Scott's Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bard here. Black and X, Masters of Whiskey Series. What? I know Wes Henderson. Wes Henderson. Wes Henderson. And we're going to test it! <laughs> Black and X cast strength style. Metallica, baby. Metallica. Forged by sound. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> So Which, a by the way, stuff going on. Yeah. is on the back. Oh. Blackened Masters of Whiskey series. Got it. A bold collaboration bold. of master distillers and blenders, born of tradition, bonded by spirit, mm. forged by sound. Wow. Again, I like what they're doing. <laughs> they haven't just like gone and, I mean, this from the get go, they wanted to do something unique and they've done it. I like it. And the fact that they're bringing all these master distillers together to make something as cool as well. So, and, yes. Smart on their part. You came in with the and. Well, just, the I'd and. already committed. They're making all these connections with all these master <coughs> distillers. Yeah. You can't say that's dumb. That's smart. Uh, but uh, cask strength, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. They've done some rise, and I think we've done a couple of the rise. And the and last X, I think the last X that we did was yes. uh, cast strength rye that was finished in, I want to say brandy barrels, but I don't quite remember. It was good. We it both was good. really liked yeah, it. Yeah, we were surprised because it seemed like, <clears throat> what is this? Yeah. So this one is finished in white port wine casks. Yeah, I've never had white port. I don't know if I've ever seen it. No. This port, port isn't generally white. No, it's usually like red. Reddish. <laughs> reddish. It's a reddish port wine. 58.1% ABV. You noticed right away the color yeah. on this. It's like oh, licorice. We did touch on this is metal, the Metallica kind yeah. of. Um, they're, they're are the they? Sound, I'm sure there's some of the money. The sound is going on all, all yeah. the money. They own this bad boy. But um, yeah, so they've got bass playing. Yeah. Or uh, individual song vibrates, yeah, whiskey yeah, in the barrel, in the wood whiskey and in the makes barrel. it age. in the jarro, baby, whiskey in, in the, the jarro. <laughs> Many right. a time. Many a time. That was a little mild out. for just cracking the seal on the. Oh no, man, that was good. Yeah, did you get it? Was strong. Yeah, I had mine fully pushed in. <laughs> I know what will get you, and that will do it. I'm, I mean, I get some bourbon Ooh. cinnamon. Ooh, I got two cloves. What's the ABV? Did uh, you say? 58 point something. Wow. Two. Yeah, that's up there. 58.1. <clears throat> Cask strength. Man. Ooh. Almost grassy. Wow. You got um, there's a little tangy sour, sour yeah. fruit. And a little bit of a lemon furniture little. pledge. Like little. You, like you've been cleaning the office. Little sour funk. Yeah, it's starting to come out now. Dang, it keeps stinging me when I come in. Now I have, we have I've, this has been poured for probably an hour and a half. Mm. It's gotten some air. Mm -hmm. I did just crack the seal though before that. Neither one of us has tasted this yet. Mm, I have now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow! Mm. This is punching way Ooh. above. It's fifty-eight point one. Mm. Woo! Holy moly! Oh yeah! Ooh! That's um, better. That's better than a certain cast drink whiskey we just did last week. <laughs> yeah, go look. That is. Go look. That is. Yeah. Less fan or yeah, less fanfare. More expensive, which we'll is talk about. This called Black and the Third. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Really nice bourbon palate, but then some of that Ooh. port influence coming through as well. I'm gonna need to tame it down. I'm gonna take one more sip strong. It's rich. This feels older. A lot of depth to it. Uh, brown sugars, caramels, all those nice bourbon notes are really present, really there. That was my first sip. I'm really looking forward to the second one here. Without man, you already added water. I did because I had to bring it down. The only I'm getting is like a, almost like a a barrel char flavor with, I don't know, maybe like a, I don't know what this other. I, I guess it's got to be the dry astringent wine. Maybe I guess. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I get like Luxardo cherry, really rich cherry. Man, I had to tame her. Sweet fruit. Yeah, there's a sweet finish. I've still got the finish rolling there's around. A little bit of um, a tangerine or a grapefruit kind of tartness, a sourness. Citrus flavor. Citrus. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that was rich. sparky for me. I couldn't, yeah, it's, couldn't it's, dive through it. It's hot, caramel, rich, melted milk chocolate caramel, milk, milky caramel. Mm. Mm. All right, that tamed it down a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of cola on the forefront. Then it moves into an oaky, velvety, slight coffee twinge mm. i think the bourbon notes are 80 percent of this it's really up front and there's just hints of the port boy yeah i don't know now and maybe right in the finish i get these little but they're almost like a peppery wine this is a little bit of pepper a little bit of spice yeah yeah a peppery wine makes the only Ooh. way i can describe it Hmm, let me get a drop of water on mine. I like it neat. That's very good. But like I say, this one's strong. The, we've talked about this before. When you when you take a, a bourbon and you try to wine barrel finish it, mm -hmm. a lot of times the wine has trouble pushing through that bourbon because yeah. the bourbon is bourbon. such a powerful oh, that virgin oak. palate. Yeah, just really uh, strong. This is one where it's still, to me, it's mostly bourbon. You get so much of the bourbon notes, the caramels, the brown sugars, the cinnamon. Yeah. And then on the back end, mid mid palate to back end, are these other notes that kind of start to sneak in? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, again spicy wine glass without any wine left in it. I mean, it's not not the juice. It's like this. It's that aroma. What do they call it when you know something that's that's just empty? Somebody told us once, remember, he just knows it after, like, the morning after when the glass is What dry. it's called? Yeah. I, I it's got know. a name. It was cool. You guys know. Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Huh. Drop of water. Not much has really changed. Yeah, this one's going to take water pretty good to bring this down. I took a good drop. I'm doing two more little drops. I think as this one is open too and comes down to some, probably maybe that port will start to show a little bit more. I still like it. This is still a great bourbon up front. But I was expecting with the color of this one, I was yeah. really expecting to be a little bit more of that port punch coming through. I feel like the bourbon's just the dominator here. Yeah. But I'm with you. I think the finish is whatever a white port is, which I've never had a white port. By the way, we got new uh, barrel caps, oh. coin toppers, uh, available on the website. Yeah. These uh, work; up. they work as a as a topper, so mm. you can seal in the aromas. Yep. Smell it, or you can push. It's got a little rubber seal. You can push it into your Glen Cairn and save it till tomorrow. That's right. If there's any of you out there that like to do that, I love to do that. I'll have just enough on the night. I'll I'll leave our coins on it, but that's not always a perfect fit. Pretty good fit, but this is like a perfect fit. A lot of times with port, I'll get, you know, berries, raspberries, strawberries. I'm really not. I'm looking for them. At the and then I say finish. that on the, on the nose right there. I did See, get at the a... very finish, I get a peppery wine dry glass. With another drop. What, ashy Ooh, now? Water. Still hot. <laughs> it is. A little bit of tobacco, uh, cigar wrapper, dry tobacco type note with water now coming out. That finish has to be, because it gives me a little bit of a, a, a wine or a grape skin almost. Hmm. But again, the it's been a while. Char is it's been a while over. since I heard the grape I know. skin. Why, why? Grape skin. Grape skin. Like people sit around peeling grapes. Why? Yeah, they do. They just slow. You got to have your own people, though. Yeah. Or you got one of those little, put the grape on a little rotisserie deal. Like, like instead of an off. apple coming off. Yeah. yeah. It's just the grape skin. <laughs> I don't think they make anything that. like that. That would take a while. I want it. Yeah. Handmade Tuscany. 2,300 grapes by the end of the day. Skin. <laughs> yes. And then dipped in chocolate. <laughs> 
and then fed what, to me. What would be <laughs> what would be the purpose of skinning the grape before you dipped it in chocolate? That's a little something extra. It means manual labor went in. I want a little person to put it on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no purpose, man. There ain't no purpose. It's about yeah. the presentation. Nothing against little people. Oh, I love little people, especially when they put the little chocolate on the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> wow um i like this one of the better more interesting bourbons we've had for a while rich palate 58 percent abv is great on this one it takes water well oh, we got a few drops on here now i think there was time that that port hopefully i would hope that the port kind of maybe starts to shine through this is the one though we've talked about it the bourbon is up front it's 80 percent bourbon yeah. maybe 85 to me it's over 85 15 it's over punch you think the bourbon is yes because I again in the finish, that's got to be what I'm getting there. Because it's that peppery grape rind, but um, and it's an interesting touch, but it's very very subtle and only in the finish. I mean, it's it's good, it's worth trying, but and I again I love what Metallica is doing with their Blackened series. So everything about this is nice, but. It's to me, it's like 95% bourbon and then 5% something 90 else? 10. Yeah, 95 yeah. 5. Mm -hmm. All right, again, collaboration with Wes Henderson. Hopefully, we said, I know we originally we said Wes Henderson, don't know if we capitalized on that or said it you again. After. You said Wes Henderson, black, blackened X, Wes Henderson, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, cast strength. I like it. I dig it. I'm ready to score it. Not your Ben Dietrich. What are you scoring? Not Ben, oh, Rob. No. Oh, sorry, Rob. Rob Dietrich. Sorry. Used to be a strand of hands. Yes. Um, you know who I was thinking of. <laughs> Mayo 91. That's debate 90-91. Uh, this one edges up I mean, there. It's good, but this one kind of misses it for me. It's still, I recognize it's an 85, though, but I know Ooh. that's me. Yeah, I know. Mm. I know. It's just Ooh. I'm not getting the subtle com complexities here. Mm. So maybe it's wasted on my palate. Probably so. I, I, I still stand by. I like this from first sip. I like this better than the certain cast strength whiskey we just did last week. Yes, just from. It's better than that one. Just from. Well, you just scored it lower. It's a good point. <laughs> that means so it you should must, come to eighty-seven. You must like last week's better. God, I, don't know. I think it's just because I expected <clears throat> some more from this white port. Oh. And I feel like it's just over. What if you didn't know? What if you didn't know it was white port? What if you just reviewing it as a bourbon? I'd still be perplexed by what this five percent is in the background. I would mm. know there's something pickle. <laughs> Maybe not pickle. <laughs> Maybe roasted uh, pumpkin. Hundred dollars. Yes, it's worth it. Nah, unless you're collecting. Maybe I wouldn't drink that. Fun. I don't know. I'm not I'm missing. It's missing. Hmm. I feel like it didn't quite hit, but you've got my score, and it's because I think I expected up here, especially with the darkness, and then drop me. Darkness. Right. Darkness. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up barrel caps. I about said uh, coins. These you can are get coins. coins there. We got a few coins. Cap toppers. We got some coins. We got hat. No, oh, not that hat. Not this Other hat. hats, Those shirts, hats. glasses. Some trucker cap. It helps keep the light not on. It helps shirt. buy whiskey. And then you can go over to Patreon. You can go on to Patreon support for as little as a dollar a month. Come on, who can't do a dollar a month? Come on over. But you can do a dollar a show, two dollars a show, and we will shout your name with gusto, baby. We'll gusto it. Scotch it. You, Scotch gods. Salon Dummies. Dummies.